All right, here's a quick video. Some of you were talking about story poems, and we'll do this one in class um, later this week. But um, talking about, say, there's tickets being sold, all right, to say a concert or a theater or whatever. And so say there's a total of 300 tickets sold. And some of them are children and some are adults. Um, adults are $8 per ticket. And children are $6 a ticket. All right, and then the total revenue coming in from these cells is right there. Okay. So um, I like to call these um, what I would say are total value story problems. Now, your book is trying to do it without, with just one variable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you two because I think it's easier. And then later that will help you um, when we go ahead and solve them with both variables. So um, my total equation is dealing with 300 tickets. So I know that I have some adult tickets that are sold and some children's tickets that are sold and together I have a total of that many. Um, strip diagrams are kind of useful with, for this. So like you have A and C and together 300. So to figure out like if you have um, 2 plus 4 equals 6, you can take 6 minus 4 to get 2 or 6 minus 2 to get 4. So I know that I can solve for A in terms of the 300 and C, or I could solve C in terms of these two, and we'll do that in a little bit. All right, the value equation is dealing with the value of those tickets, and that deals with money. Value deals with money. So the adult tickets cost $8 each. So if I only sell 10 adult tickets, that'd be $80. If I sell 100, that'd be $800. And the children's tickets are each, what, $6 each? And again, the dot's optional, it means multiply. And the total value of all that sales is right there. All right, so right now we don't know how to solve equations with two variables and two equations, which is okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our total and we're going to manipulate it so we can put it in here. All right, so I know that A plus C is a total of 300 tickets. So if I do a little algebra here, the adult tickets would be the total number of tickets minus the children, which makes sense. If I sell 100 children, there would be 200 left for adults. If I sold only one child, that'd be 299 left for adults. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a parentheses where my adult spot used to be. So these are how many adults were sold. Um, I don't know, but I know that it's the same as the total minus the ones that were sold for the children. Now notice I have an equation with one variable. So I can solve it. Do the distributive property. And let's see, 2400. Um, I have negative 8c and a positive 6. So negative 2. Subtract my 2400. Let's cancel. And over here, let's see, what do I get? Um, if I subtract that, so I get 2400 minus that. So, negative 360. Um, I really subtract that I have more debt than money, so that's why it's negative. And so I actually get C equals, I'm looking over here, C equals 180. Alright, so the cool thing is, is now I can go back to my strip, strip diagram and I can kind of figure that out. So the number of children tickets is 180. Well, 300 is a total, so if I subtract, that means there's 120 for adults. All right, so I know that there were 180 children tickets sold, and then my adult had to be, what, 120 so that they add up. So these are, what, children, and those are tickets, and I run another room here, and those are adult tickets, all right? And so, again, setting up a total equation, and a value equation, and then subbing in the value for one of your variables can help you solve that.